Yep. Hey everybody, this is Jim Grzanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team, and I'm here with Ashish Harbanjaka. Ashish is from India, and he's one of the speakers on the Oracle Groundbreakers India Yatra, which is um, this massive online conference which is taking place over the next two weeks from July 1st through, the July, through July 15th. And uh, Ashish, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for the warm welcome. It's yeah, an honor to be here. It's really great to meet you. Um, I've been to India a lot in the last few years, and uh, but we, unfortunately we have to do this here online. Um, so it would have been nice to meet you live, but maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll be there live. Definitely. So I wanted to hook up with some of the speakers on the tour. Uh, I've already spoken to Sai, right, um, okay. you know, to get sort of like an overview of what's going to be happening. Uh, the, over the next uh, couple of weeks. So you're one of the speakers that I grabbed and you're going to be talking about uh, HCM Cloud. So let's start there. What did you, what's your talk on? Okay, so basically my talk is about getting, I mean, about HR transformation. So the talk is about uh, in onboarding commerce from a, a, another legacy application to HR Cloud application. So the talk is how do we get there Course, core HR records from their third party system to the HR application. So the talk is primarily about the inbound integration where we get the data from the legacy system and load it into the SCM cloud application. Okay, so, so is this primarily geared toward like DBAs or developers or? Yeah. This, this talk would primarily cater to uh, technical consultants primarily, but functional consultants and business analysts would be a good audience too. Okay. Okay. Now, is this is this um, like a how-to sort of a thing? Is it something new? Like, mm, like are people going to be? Is, yep. So this is a definitely how-to. Yeah. And a little bit from a tech, technical perspective. So basically, for guys who are more concerned on how to get things, how to get the actual data loaded. So it's kind of an example. It's a worked out example that how do you onboard employees into SCM Cloud basically. So you okay. probably have 50,000 or 70,000 employees in your legacy application, the data records, everything is all set. You are just moving your core system from a legacy application to the same cloud application. So that's a how to guide you. Okay, so you said multi thousand, uh, so multi thousands of people there. Is this, you know, movement, uh, is, it a fairly, is it a fairly trivial task or is it, you know, have some complexity here? Uh, the task does involve some complexity. You need to have the data in the exact format. The data should be accurate. So whatever you provide, so it's basically a kind of activity where you get the data in some flat files, maybe say suppose a, a, a text file, for example, in the more layman terms, and you load the data as is. So if the data, whatever you have provided is incorrect, then the incorrect data goes in. So basically, I mean, if in case of a phone number, you are supposed to give a 10 digit number, but if you are giving instead of a 10 digit number, you are giving an invalid combination like A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then probably the system would not be able to validate all those aspects of it. So it will go as in whatever you provide with some validation inbuilt in the system, but not entirely. Okay, so um, with the benefits of using the cloud, I mean, is this, is I would imagine that doing this in the past would have involved a lot more labor intensive processes, right? Yeah, basically previously when the tool was not there, then it was a labor intensive process and has to be done. You have to work around multiple Excel spreadsheets. So basically you have to take care of number formatting. You have to take care of many other things. Now the task has become simple and it is, so basically you download a template from the application, which goes, which is gets upgraded each time the ver application version gets upgraded. So say suppose if you are working in an earlier version, you download an earlier template. If you are working on a newer version, you download a new template. You get the template, fill the data in the template and you load the template. So it's as simple as this. So you, you just need to have control on your data. Everything else, the system takes care of it. You click a button, a template gets downloaded. You load the data, you click a button, the data gets uploaded. So it, it almost it almost seems like I could do it. <laughs> yes, you can do it. I mean, I'm a little bit. If you have the correct file, then probably right. you can do it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you work at a company called called you know Tesco. Is that a is that an Indian company? 
No, Tesco is basically a UK retail oh. company. It's the world's third largest retailer. Oh, okay. So I work for Tesco and I work out of their India office, which is based out of Bangalore. Bangalore. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, all right. And I also see from your bio that you're an Oracle Ace. And I should tell you guys, we're just meeting here for the first time. So I'm exploring this actually just right along with you. Um, so Ashish, you're an Oracle Ace, right? Yes. I've been fortunate to be included in the program three years back. So cool. it's an honor to be an Ace. Yep. Cool. So, so what's it, what's it like to be an ace? What, what do you guys, in other words, I know how you become an ace, but you know, what's it like to actually, actually be an ace? Yeah, actually, I mean, I will take two aspects of it. So becoming an ace for some people, I mean, some people thrive to become an ace and some people become an ace because of their activity, right? So basically, uh, I personally have a knack of sharing things which I have done because when I came into this particular technology, then I was seeing there were many people who were in the DBA side of it. So I, I get to learn many things from the database perspective. But the application or the world is more about the application, right? I mean, database is the back end part of it and it's very much required, I agree. But more people like common people or business analysts or business users are more interested in the application side of it. So I thought there was not too much writing. There was too much, there was writing guides for there, but they were not easily explained, cannot be easily explained to the end user. So, so I thought maybe whatever I will do or I will learn, I would share it across to people in the simplest English possible. So that's the way I started. So I started sometime around October 2015, got accepted into the ACE program sometime in December 2017. So I have around now 300 plus blog posts on my blog. I've wow. been fortunate ever to written, write 12 books on Oracle SCM Cloud. So, and <laughs> yeah. that's, okay. that's gone on. Uh, stop right there. Stop right there. Okay. You said 12 books? Yes, I did. 12 books. Yes. Okay. So like, what are some of the titles? Just not all 12, but what are some of the titles or just, you know, so some most, of the, of the uh, subjects. Yep. So basically, uh, uh, SCM cloud is an evolving product, right? So basically I would, uh, let me say it changes every three months. Okay. So what happened is when I started, right? So it's with the part I started as a part wise. So what happened? I started uh, the book title starters Oracle SCM cloud concepts part one, and then it goes till part 11. I see. So okay. these are 11 parts. And then one, there's one consolidated book, which is the 12th book, which cons, which is the constitution of all these 11 elements. It says that beginner's guide to Oracle SCM cloud. So that, that's the way the 12 books are created. So you're just deeply embedded in the, the features and technology of HCM cloud. Yeah, more from an application user's perspective, not primarily too much details on the underlying technologies, but more of an application usage. How do you use an application as a technical consultant or configure the application as a functional consultant or use it as a business user? Interesting, interesting, okay. But still, 12 books is is non-trivial in my, <laughs> very, very impressive. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I yeah, I mean, it depends. I mean, I have seen many authors who go too much into technical details and they have the content of the book is too heavy and too vol the volume is high. But the world we are living it, people like a two minute quick, quick read. Okay, so my books are not too large. So say suppose 40 topics. So 40 topics will cover you maybe uh, sometimes 100 pages, sometimes 200 pages. So each specific topic it's covered. So as and when I encountered problem, I've tried to give a resolution and then compile them in a book. So one book can give you 40 solutions for 40 different problems. And this goes on for the 12 books. Wow, cool, cool. All right, so, um, you know, when I go to India, I go for the Yatra tour, I go for Sangam, and I go for Oracle Code, you know, whatever the particular event is. Have you done other events, uh, you know, for, at Oracle events in the past, uh, actually in India? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I have done Sangam 2018, which was in Hyderabad. I, I gave a talk there. Mm -hmm. That was also on Oracle SCM Cloud. And I have also done Yatra, so I have given a Yatra talk also. So that was something in 2018 to July 2018 was the Yatra talk, my first Yatra talk. So I, I got him. I mean, I used to go. I was not very much aware of the Yatra initially during 2015 or 16. But then I met I uh, through some common friend. I went to a Yatra tour and met Sai and their volunteers. And then I got to know, OK, there's a lot many things which is going around, which I am unaware. 
the only thing which i didn't uh, which was not uh, which interested me a lot was it, it was more based on the database aspects so any time i went to any data talk it was more, it seemed more of a database only so oracle is a database company i understand and database is the core product they did but still i felt okay on top of this database you need to have some application so that's the way i started my journey and sai also gave me the encouragement okay if you are good at this why not you learn and make others teach teach others and spread the knowledge so that's the way it started Yeah. It was really interesting when I was on the Yatra last year uh going to each city. You really you really picked up a a very different personality in each city yeah. that the you know the people was different and the environment was different, the food, everything. Um so I really I really hope I really hope it to be down there, you know, again next year. Um Yeah, sure. sure. And um All right, Ashish. Well, thank you very much for hanging out with me for a few minutes here. Um and you know, good luck with your talk and anything future that you do there. And uh we will uh see you again soon. So Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh for you guys out there, we will be back for more interviews. I have about 30 or so <laughs> interviews scheduled over the next 3 weeks. So we'll talk to you we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.